Hi, it's Martin and welcome to another video on my Knit365 YouTube channel. Today's video is Vlogmas episode 3 and we're off on our travels. France, here we come. Very short introduction to kickstart this video and then we need to go to bag drop, get rid of the suitcase and go through to security and all the other airporty stuff. Um, we left this video yesterday with me saying I'd opened up Advent but hadn't yet done the pieces. Um, I've now done the pieces on the Toft Advent. So using black yarn, that was fun. Uh, we've made what I think are two little feet and booties um, and two long arms. And thank you to lots of you for the suggestion about how to get these to France without having to take all the extra boxes. So I basically written myself a post-it note with the box number on it, so that is five, and I've just sewn through them and I've tied them together. So we have box number one and we've got the body and the new claws. Um, and I managed to do the new claw properly. So uh, I don't know if it's gonna show, it's very small. But we've now got three claws and a thumb because these are going to be hands, not feet. So they're not furry boots, like at an apres ski. <laughs> but there we go, right? Who knows where the advent's going? That's the fun. You can see me in the window. Hi. Uh, so we are at the hotel, um, overlooking the runway. You can just about see aeroplanes. I'll spin you around and show you that properly in a moment. Um, and I've just opened today's advent, and we have an exclusive colour for advent this isn't in the toft standard color so day eight i've opened the little box it's in the suitcase we've got this lovely plum yarn oh, look at that it's doing nothing to dispel the myth that we're now we are doing the sugar plum fairy maybe who knows there we go right i need to finish getting my bits ready it is 10 to 6 in the morning Flight is at 10 past eight, so bag drop is now just after six, so we need to get going. Um, I also, I got to the heel of my sock yesterday, um, so more on that in a bit, let's go.
Oui, pardon. Tu vas à jeu. Greetings, greetings from Bordeaux. It's the lights <laughs> on the, I don't know what it is, municipal car. <clears throat> we are here. Good morning, good morning. Mark is here. Good morning from Bordeaux. Day two. Uh, didn't do a lot of filming yesterday because by the time we got to the hotel, checked in, etc., uh, it was a little bit dark. So you've seen a tiny little bit of footage. Um, <laughs> sorry, I had an itch. You have to look at my eye close up. Um, I did a tiny little bit of footage last night, um, but now we're out. Gonna do some shopping. Gonna find a yarn shop. Exciting! We're a little bit tired. Um, we went out last night and we got back to the hotel about 2 a.m., which was neither big or clever, but we had a thoroughly lovely time. Bordeaux is beautiful i'll do a slow spin around this is one of the squares um we're looking for somewhere for lunch so yeah we'll take you shopping in a bit and do some sightseeing and uh i don't know why i keep biting my lip <laughs> i don't know what else you're gonna see in this video but um yeah let's go it's raining We're heading back to the hotel to dry. We'll sightsee later. I bought wool though. <laughs> of course you are. I'll show you in a bit. Uh, back in the hotel room now, um, seeking sanctuary. We're basically hiding from the rain. <laughs> so um, I've not done any crafting today so far. It is about three o'clock. Um, so I've got today's box and I had a disaster. So today's box is number, uh, number nine. Is that going to focus? Maybe, maybe not. Um, today's box is rose gold beads. Now, what do you need? to put beads on, you need the wire. I bought all of the pieces from the early days, but I didn't bring the wire <laughs> from box three. So I had a small disaster. Now, those of you <laughs> that were here last year will know I also lost the wire last year because I was beading over breakfast and I put the wire on the table and forgot to pick it back up and they'd cleaned the table away before I remembered and the wire had gone. So last year, while I was on holiday, we were playing hunt the wire and I was trying to find fishing wire or what else we go for? Dental floss. Dental floss um, and couldn't. However, I've been to the yarn shop and I'll show you what I bought um, and then that footage will be coming up. I think it's coming up. I, I need to work out where I'm going to edit this all together. Um, but in the yarn shop, Marie had a fishing wire because they had some toys in the shop and the toys were like tied to like the tables and things so people, they don't get lost. Um, so I said, can I have some wire, please? Because I haven't got any and I need it for my crochet. So um, I was very graciously given some wire. So I am going to now thread my beads and then get back onto today's piece. So we're making a tunic, I think. Um, I've just started um, two little armholes. So let's thread them and then let's get this bit of the pattern done for today. We are here 
on the river. Um, the Garon? The Garon. I feel like a tour guide. Over here on our left. Um, yeah, so I'm standing on the water mirror. Excuse the butchered pronunciation. Mirror low. The water mirror. And I said to my, oh, let's go and see what it's like at night in the winter. And it's off. So usually you can stand in this, like you need to take your shoes and socks off in the summer because it's like an inch of water. I'm gonna pop a, fi a fixture. I'm gonna pop a picture on screen now. That's what it looks like in the summer and it's just glorious. That was one of our previous holidays. I'm saying that because I believe we have a photo. Yes, Mark's nodding. Otherwise you were gonna get a stock Google image. Um, but yeah, it's very bizarre in the winter time, seeing it all closed Just off. Stuff. Yeah. So behind us, there he is. Bordeaux is just the prettiest. It's like being in a French textbook. Right, we're gonna go and walk through the port of Kalu, which is an old, I was going to say castle, it's like a tenement um, entrance to the city and it's one of our, it's my background photo on my lock screen on my phone, bit of insight behind the scenes, um, of the first time that Mark and I came to Bordeaux and I've still got that picture, it's of the two of us um, with a selfie. So I'm going to take you there, we're doing a bit of sightseeing at night then we'll do a bit of daytime sightseeing tomorrow because we were trying to avoid the rain earlier and I haven't done much crafting, but more on that later. Right, let's go. Good morning, it is day 10 of Advent and we're just in the hotel getting ready to go out and find some breakfast. Um, today's Advent gift is this year's pin badge. So sticking with the rose gold theme, we've got this lovely, will it focus? No. It says Toft in the middle, obviously you can see that, and then above it and below it is Advent 2023. So that's nice. That'll go on my 
uh, knitting bag when I get home. I'm gonna leave that here. We're gonna go out for some breakfast. Um, mirror shot. And then let me just check. Yeah, it's currently dry. Shh. There is Bordeaux. Um, <coughs> so we're gonna go and do a bit of sightseeing after breakfast um, in the daylight. So I'm gonna film a little bit of that. Then I'm gonna start editing this together and then get this up on the YouTube hopefully this evening, Sunday night. And then that'll be the end of this episode of Vlogmas because tomorrow we go to Paris. And then, yes, very exciting. So while Mark and I go and have breakfast, I think I'm gonna put this in here. While we go and have breakfast, you watch some of yesterday's antics where we went to the knitting shop and I caught up again with Marie, who is the wonderful owner. She remembered me from when I went a few years ago, which was so lovely. Um, I bought some yarn, but I'll show you that in another video. We're gonna need yarn recommendations because I bought it. I don't know why I'm swaying. Uh, we have bought it and I don't know what to do with it, but the colors are gorgeous, exciting. Um, so yeah, oh, you could have a guess if you want. What did I buy? I, don't, I think I showed off. I think I did a squish, maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, we will see. Right, you watch that. We're going to go for breakfast and then I'll be back in a bit to wrap this video up.
breakfast done, Mark's here. I, 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 I decided to do some knitting on my shawl because that was easier over breakfast rather than following a pattern. I'm so close. That's the final row of dips. And then I'm just gonna pearl myself back. And then I think I've got a knit and a pearl row. Or maybe it's just pearl myself back and then it's done. Then I've got the bind off. So I know it's not quite done yet. And but, then all over again. and then I've got to do it all over again, yeah. Thanks for that, positivity. Um, <laughs> keeping it real. <laughs> I'm gonna end this video here. I've got today's toft bit. Um, but you'll have to wait till next video for that because I'm already up to half an hour on this one. <laughs> so um, we finished the tunic. Today's piece was putting the tail on the other side, which I've done. Um, did I mention, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. So if I did, you got it twice. If I didn't, interesting. Yesterday's was about doing the tail piece and there's an invisible technique so that you you crochet in on the wrong side but it, the right side faces out so it looks like a seamless piece because when you go in the round i'll show you that in the next video what i mean but i spent an hour basically i don't think i told you this i spent an hour trying to do the invisible technique couldn't get it how i liked it so i just did it the normal way which means i've now got a slight difference in my fabric on the jacket but I don't care. Crochet is meant to be fun and I didn't find that fun at all and I wasn't in the right mood to spend a lot of time practicing it. I wasn't sure how to twist the stitch. Go and watch Toff's Instagram if you want to see what I mean. Um, but I finished that piece and then yeah so I'm going to end this video here. We have had a wonderful time in Bordeaux. It is so pretty. If you get a chance to visit, absolutely do. I'm gonna edit, finish editing this together and then um, get this uploaded for you Sunday afternoon. And then tomorrow we're off to Paris. So the next video will probably be Wednesday, which will catch the first part of our Parisian <laughs> adventures. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed a bit of a trip to France. He's either going to be in the camera or off the camera, isn't he? Because at the moment, I've got like half a face. Um, hope you've enjoyed France and the start of it. Uh, we're feeling very festive. More Christmas markets? Mm -hmm. Bit of Christmas market now, I think. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, stay safe. Hope you're enjoying your advents or crafting whatever you are up to. And I'll be back on Wednesday. So, until we speak again. Happy crafting. Yay!